Someone sent me an article about the biggest fears of 2011. Of course, here we are with a new calendar year, and some of those things would be the normal things you'd think of. The fear of death was right at the very top of the list. Uh, one of the other things that always is interesting is the fear of public speaking. Getting out in front of people and talking is, is a great fear of many. And the, the list goes on to probably some things that are pretty predictable. People are afraid of snakes. Uh, I don't really like snakes myself, but I know many people hate them. The fear of heights or flying. Those kinds of things are the things that seem to top the list for 2011. But one of the things that was surprising to me was one that made the top 10 was the fear of the new year. So here we are in a new calendar year, and people are afraid of, of what's to come. And so I thought that was a pretty interesting uh, aspect of this, uh, this survey that they did. Yeah, what you're talking about, Steve, reminds me of um, a, a speech given by one of England's kings a few years ago called The Gate of the Year. I read that years ago, and I've written about it a number of times. And essentially, it, it starts out by talking about, uh, I, I said to the man at the gate of the year, what lies ahead and what, what is out there in the, in the future, in the dark. And it comes down to the fact that in, within this particular speech, the, the king said, put your hand in God's hand. Uh, it is in him that we have safety, we have confidence and courage, and we don't need to fear. So whether it's the beginning of a, a calendar year, whether it's uh, at the point of any type of struggle or trial in our life, we're always going to have fears. But if our faith, confidence, and trust is in God, then we don't have really anything to ultimately fear, and we can get through that challenge. That's exactly what Christ talked about. Matthew six twenty five. Christ himself said, Therefore, I say, don't worry about your life. So here's Christ saying, don't be overly concerned. I mean, it's a big problem in our society today that we're anxious people. We, we have anxiety attacks, and we have to deal with these kinds of issues. But Christ said, don't be overly anxious. He said, well, why not? He said, look at the birds of the air. They don't sow, they don't reap, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. In other words, God's going to take care of us. Don't worry about those kinds of things. He tells us so clearly in verse 34, don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about this new year. This calendar year has many things in store for us, but he says don't worry. He says sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Now, how can we do that? How can we not worry about the new year? How can we not worry about the fear of, of what's to come? How can we not worry about death? How can we not worry about any of those things on that list? Well, Matthew 6, 33, Christ gives the key. He says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. In other words, we can overcome worry. We can overcome anxiety when we place our trust in God. That will help us with our fears. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.